Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Rara Lay with RLTV. And right now, I am on the red carpet for Like a Boss. Tiffany Haddish is about to make her way through the red carpet. And let's just check out and see what she has to say after this. I absolutely loved Like a Boss. And in the movie, you were just that, a boss. One thing I noticed is that Mel was very protective of Mia. And throughout the movie, you were, um, as your role, you were very, very protective of her. And as a black woman, I notice a lot of times we are kind of like the protector. And we stand up for different people, even when it's not necessarily our fight. In this movie, do you feel as if you had a similar role in real life that you experienced something like this? Yeah, I mean, I protect all my, like my friends, I look out for them just like they look out for me. And I have friends that are various nationalities, various colors, races, and they are we all protect each other. And I think that's what makes us such great friends. Why I've had friendships for more than 20 years is because we look out for each other and protect right. each other. We defend each other. Like, I can talk bad about my homegirl. You can't say shit. Exactly. <laughs> right? Like, right. same thing with my sisters. Yeah. So it's, I think it's, um, I think that's very important. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I see that no matter what, I, f I know you just said like, you know, black women do right. that a lot, but I see that in all women personally. Yeah. yeah. Because I have all kind of friends. So I see it all over. And that is excellent. I also want to ask, during the movie, what was the most exciting but out of the ordinary thing that happened on set? The most exciting but out of the ordinary thing that happened on set? I feel like when Billy would break out into song, Billy Porter would break out into song. It was so exciting because it would raise the energy up on the set. Like it would raise energy up so much. And, it, and to me, that was super exciting. I, that was like, when he would do that, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> so excited. Yeah, I love that because he has a beautiful voice. And last question that I want to ask. I saw you during the Golden Globes and taking off the shoe moment. I feel as if... I didn't take off my shoes. You didn't? I never took off my shoes. Why did I think that happened? I, I, there was two men standing on both sides of me. My feet was hurting. So oh. I stood on the side of Okay, clothes. okay, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? I never do. took off my shoes. Did you see me walking off carrying any shoes? You did not. And you know yeah, what? I had my shoes on. Okay, so, so I, I am... stood on the side of them. I rested on my ankles just like I'm doing right now. Look Wait, down at my feet. I see, I that's see. That's what I'm doing. I, okay. That's what I did. I never took off my shoes. I don't, I don't know why people said that. You didn't even yeah. see me carrying a shoe. I did not. You know what? And I am so happy that you clarified that. Yeah, but I clarified yeah. it on Twitter, too, when they said that. Y'all okay. dumb. Y'all not paying attention. <laughs> did you see me walk off with any shoes? No, because I had them on my feet. And I was still tall. You got, if, you made, if you looked, I got short. Then I got back tall again. <laughs> I mean, logic. Logic, people. Logic. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. You good. Thank you. <laughs>